For this topic, you're going to be thinking about writing a topic sentence for your paragraphs, which will help you in our previous lesson, and that's paragraphing, because some of you might be start paragraphing now and are having a little bit of trouble with actually deciding when a paragraph starts and when it should end. So what we're going to need open before we get started is your gathering grid with all your focus topics. You're going to need this document open, which is located in your informative folder. And you're going to need anything else that you think you would need in order to make practice writing topic sentences. You can do this right at the bottom of your gathering grid if you'd like. What we're going to do is we're going to look at an example of what a topic sentence is and what it can do. So some of us are having trouble deciding when we need to paragraph. And using this topic sentence or a topic sentence can really focus how you write. Here's an example called saltwater taffy. Saltwater taffy has been around a long time. One leg legend teaches that it <clears throat> one legend teaches that it was named after a vendor on Atlantic City's boardwalk who had a supply of taff taffy damaged by a so storm tied in the summer of 1883. But even without the name, saltwater taffy, it was around long before that. Some say that taffy was invented from toffee pe re recipes that colonists brought over from England. When making the toffee, they found that when they pushed and pulled it, the sticky substance it became began to change. Instead of toffee, they had taffy. Now in this paragraph, it tells us the topic sentence right in the beginning. And a topic sentence is your first sentence of the paragraph. And that topic sentence, I'd like you to write down and see if you can identify which sentence that is. I just told you which one it was. Push pause and do so. That topic sentence was saltwater taffy has been around a long time. <clears throat> it tells you what the rest of the paragraph is going to be about. As you, as you read on, you learn about how far back it goes and where it may have come from. If you wanted to talk about different flavors of taffy, you wouldn't do, do it in this paragraph because it wouldn't make sense. What you would do is you would start a whole entire new one. You would make a new paragraph. So before we go and I write the topic sentence that it could be, I'd like to see if you could write one. Write a topic sentence for saltwater taffy and the flavors. And what is your option? They can be different. Go ahead, push pause, and do so. All right, now I'm back, and I'm going to show you what I would have done. Salt water taffy comes in lots of different flavors. And now, from there, I can start putting my the rest of my information out and making it actually a new paragraph. So here's my topic sentence, and in this sentence, you can figure out that I'm going to be talking about the flavors of saltwater taffy. There are the flavors that most of us think about when we think of taffy. Molasses, peppermint, vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. But what about raspberry? Lemonade. Pina colada. Etc. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm writing a paragraph. I have my topic sentence, I have my, my information, and I'm writing a paragraph based on my topic sentence. The number of salt, water, taffy flavors is growing because there are new and easier ways to add flavor to recipes. Now all I did there was write a paragraph from the information I had found and I wrote a topic sentence that guided me. Now in the next paragraph if I was going to talk about where you can buy it, I wouldn't put it, about, put it in all the different flavors, I'd need a new topic sentence. If you aren't sure 
When to start a new paragraph, it might be because you aren't organizing your writing around a series of main ideas. Writing a topic sentence helps you focus on one main idea at a time. Try starting your main idea in a topic sentence and then continue paragraph by explaining more about it. And what you can do is do what you do in response to text. You take the question that you have, reword it into a topic sentence. And that right there is your beginning of your paragraph. What I'd like you to do for tonight's practice is go look at your three, four, however many focus questions or topics you have. And I want you to pick a couple, one or two, and reword them into a topic sentence. If you want to do them all, you're going to be ahead of the game and that'd be fine. We're going to talk about the topic sentences when you come back.